Hi Jay. Since we're all shut in, I thought it might be fun to revisit, rediscover some old film cameras um, that I've had hiding in the back of my closet for a while. So, the first one for today is going to be my little sub-miniature, ultra-miniature Minox. The spy camera. So this camera, um, my parents bought me this uh, when I graduated from high school back in 1966 for $108. That was my graduation gift. And it's a beautiful little camera. Um, beautiful product design, I think. Sleek, anodized aluminum body. Uh, no protruding levers or any other things on it. Um, it has built-in light meter right here at the end. And this is called a Minox B. The original one was called a Minox A, and it did not have the light meter, so it was a little bit smaller than this camera. But this light meter is coupled to the shutter speed dial so that when you pr press this button up here and get a light meter reading, then you match the needle uh, on the meter with the needle on, you know, the arrow on the meter with, and with this, and that sets your shutter speed. And uh, the shutter speeds go from a thousandth of a second all the way down to a half second. And then you also have a bulb setting and a time setting. So you can open the shutter and it will stay open for until you press the shutter again. Um, and it's all mechanical. There's no battery, no electronics at all. The um, meter is selenium, therefore it doesn't require a battery. And uh, it's all pretty cool. Um, it'll focus to eight inches with the dial here. You twist the dial to set the focusing distance. And uh, eight inches, therefore you can get very close and do copying of uh, photographs or text from a book. And to assist in that, there's this lanyard chain that's attached to the camera. And along the chain, there are little beads. The first bead is at eight inches. And so you would hold that uh, bead right up against your subject. And, and then that's how far, when you're focused at eight inches, you'd focus there. And the first focus setting is eight inches. The next one's 10 inches. There's a bead at 10 inches, a bead at 12 inches at 18 inches, and then the whole chain altogether is two feet long. Beyond that, you just have to guess uh, your, your uh, focusing distance. The neat thing about the focusing distance also, when you open the camera, you might wonder, where's the viewfinder? Well, you open the camera up like that, and there's your viewfinder, and that's the exit lens for the viewfinder. And the viewfinder is coupled to the focusing dial. So as you focus more closely, the prism that's inside the viewfinder will actually angle downward toward the lens so that you're looking at what's actually being shot by the lens. It, it takes that parallax into consideration. Um, this little lanyard can be removed from the camera by pressing in, twisting 90 degrees, and it comes loose. There's a little boss on the end of the camera that, uh, that it connects to. That has another function as well. At the other end is a flash uh, connection, a PC connection, and that uh, connects directly to the flash gun which attaches to this end of the camera. The camera, when it was originally sold years ago, took, uh, uh, the film was usually 25 ASA or ISO nowadays, and uh, and it came in a, in a spool with 50 exposures. Here's the inside of the camera. The film comes in a little cartridge. You drop it in, close this up, and that then the film's inside the camera. You advance it a couple times to get to exposure one, and then you're ready to go. Each time you close the camera, it advances the film and recocks the shutter. Then when you open the camera, you're ready to go. You'll notice in the lens window, which is here, is, is covered and therefore protected when it's not in use. But when you open the camera up, then that's the lens window. 
and um, the lens is actually behind the shutter. The shutter is right in front of the lens. It's like a focal plane shutter, only it's not at the focal plane, it's in front of the shutter. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little circular um, marking on that shutter curtain. When you trip the shutter, then that marking goes away, and so you know the camera has been fired, and therefore you can close it up, open it up again, and then you're ready to go. Um, the flash, I mentioned the flash, here it is. Comes in a little case, very similar to the case that the camera comes in, same styling. And this flash gun, again, has the same design. It slips onto the end, and there's a connection inside the flash gun that connects to that PC sink. Let's see here, why isn't it connecting? Hmm, interesting, never had that problem before. Um, I'll check it out later. So this flash gun uses these little jelly bean flash bulbs and they just plug in to the end of the flash and then there's a reflector that you deploy by sliding up on this little button on the back of the flash gun and that then creates a shield, a heat shield, so you don't get the heat of the bulb right next to your face when you're taking a picture and it reflects the light out to the uh, subject. As you pull this down, it automatically ejects the bulb. There's a little foot in there that pushes the bulb out for you. So that's all very cool. And I'll find out why it doesn't connect to the camera in a minute. Um, and the last accessory that I have for this camera is a tripod. This is made by Minox. It's a special Minox tripod designed especially for this camera. And, uh, but you might wonder, since the camera has no tripod socket, well, how do you attach the camera to the tripod? Well, Minox thought of that. They have this little bracket, a tripod bracket. And you press this in here, twist this knurled knob to lock the camera in, and then that uh, holds the camera. This little arm swings up and you notice that the shutter button is right here. And if you put this up here, as you open the camera, then the, your cable release uh, is right positioned directly over the shutter button, ready to go. And you can attach the camera to the tripod, thusly. But you say, wait a minute, Earl. It's not a tripod, it's a monopod. How can that be a tripod? Well, the clever German engineers have a series of legs that screw into one another. So you screw that one out, and you screw that one out, and attach it right here. And now you've got yourself a little Minox tripod. This is a ball head that is controlled, the friction on the ball head is controlled by the big leg, and so you can snug that up to the camera nice and secure. But you may ask, well, wait a minute, you need a cable release to release the shutter. Well, they thought of that too. Inside of the smallest leg, you unscrew this and out comes a beautiful little cable release which you then screw into that um, connection. And then when you get ready to take your picture, there you go. I love the sound of the camera, just that little soft I don't know if you can hear that on the uh, video, but... So that's my Minox B sub-miniature spy camera made in Germany. And uh, I just recently put a roll of film through it, some color film. I'm waiting to get that back from the processor. Uh, one place up in Portland, Oregon that still um, puts the film into the cartridges and develops the film and processes it for you. Um, so I've ordered a new roll of film to replace that one and uh, should have fun playing with this a little bit. Picture quality is horrible, of course, because the negative is about 
8 by 11 millimeters. So it's really, really about the size of my little fingernail. And um, therefore, the, there's a lot of grain. But nonetheless, the next roll of film I'm getting is um, 25 ASA. So it'll be as fine grain as you can get for this kind of a camera. The color film I shot was 100 ISO. So we'll see how awful those pictures come out. Anyway, I uh, hope you're doing well. Say hi to Susie. And uh, when I break out another camera, I'll put together another video for you. Take care. Bye. Hey, Jay. This is an epilogue. So I, I just had to fiddle around with the flash gun a little bit more to make it uh, connect properly. But that's, there's the camera with the flash gun attached. And uh, just didn't line up quite perfectly when I first tried it. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Take care. Bye.